All right, so I've been asked this a few times, enough times that, you know what, I said I can make a video. Someone just asked me recently. Uh, so this is going to be going up on Instagram and uh, also on YouTube. <laughs> so uh, the question is, what kind of paper do I use for my sketch cards? I'm going to show you some sketch cards that I, that I have here. Two I just did. Uh, so I got a wild card, a uh, wild card, a wild cat sketch card, a wild cat created by C. B. Smallwood, and here's another wild cat card. So this is going to be a half card. So at the time I'm doing this, I'm actually going to be working on the second part of this card and some other wild cat cards. And so I'm going to put this here. So uh, this. Uh, this is a Bristol paper. It's a smooth surface, and uh, I use this. These are pre-cut train cards, artist train cards. So this is what I use, and so you can see here how it absorbs uh, the uh, the uh, markers. So uh, this is a alcohol marker so it's a mixture of Ohuhu and also um, uh, Bianyo but any alcohol marker <laughs> uh, works so uh, Bristol artist train cards on, on Amazon now you can save money by buying a pad of Bristol paper or Bristol board So yeah, so you get 20 sheets um, and just come come down to size. If you want them the artist train card size, I think they are since it should say here 2.5 by 3.5. Okay, and it's uh and it's 20 cards here, so 20 cards here versus 20 sheets here. It does say sheets, but it's cards. <laughs> uh, and you can get a lot more than 20 cards from this. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put this here. All right, um, now recently, I saw this at the Walmart. Uh, I'm sure you can get it other places, but this is a watercolor paper, and this is a uh, 30 sheets. They did have a a a, a bigger pad, but uh, I like this one. So, so I like this texture. So it's a little bit thicker, but you can still cut up to size and that's what I did I took out a sheet cut out to size and I did a few cards and I happen to have uh, one here and uh, so there's alcohol markers again um, I don't have it anymore but it's on on, on Instagram uh, but I did uh, I did do I think one card with some watercolors but uh, I mean, again the water it's going to depend on watercolor paints on which ones that you get I got some from uh, five below it's the ones that like it's the little tablet that so you 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 wet and so um, what's happening with that I was getting a lot of dust texture but yeah I think it worked for what I was drawing on the card it was a, a bestial dragon and and I did do another one with water, uh, with uh, <laughs> uh, alcohol markers, and I like how it came out. So I've been using the alcohol markers. So there's a uh, Raphael with a so sombrero. So I'm actually doing a series. So um, so this is going to be Donatello right now. This is a pencil sketch or pencil drawing, but so you can see the texture there. Yeah. Um, 
Now what I've been doing, with, uh, not all, but uh, some of uh, these cards is I'll put them in a casing. So I bought these. I got these on Amazon. Get a, go, you, you, you get a few. <laughs> um, and uh, so th these are a little bit bigger. So they, uh, you can cut down to a little bit of a bigger size. Uh, I think this is like the regular standard uh, sketch card size or did I cut this one I think I cut this one but ar around that size um, this is a mask woman card and uh, this card is available for sale I have it on my Etsy uh, these will also be available uh, for sale uh, once I finish them and let's see well, another paper okay so this is a watercolor paper I'll show the markers that I have so I got a hoo hoo markers these are the uh, the brush these are nice I need to buy uh, more of these just why I sell my, my cards and stuff so I, can, <laughs> I gotta buy more more supplies and these are the annual markers and this is the uh, the nib this a uh, bullet point nib and the chisel nib um, pretty short um, so yeah, so there's a chisel nib plus the brush nib, which uh, uh, I like both of these. Um, I do, I do use uh, these a little bit more because, but you know, I just happen to have more. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, so another kind of paper that I use. Okay, let me show the. So, some of these index cards. It's regular old index cards. But what I do is I reinforce it with another index card um, or a piece of cardstock. Or, or what do I have here? <laughs> I had it here, I think I dropped it. Oh, here it is. Or, uh, this is actually uh, a glossy flyer, but I used the, the back where it's a little bit more of a mat. Uh, this is, uh, it's already expired, it already, uh, the event already happened. Uh, so I'll, I'll cut this, either use it as a backing, So it's a little thicker. Or I'll again cut it down to size and I'll cut around the back. So you know this is a little bit more of a, a mat. It does have uh, this texture that I like. That. So when I, I, I color on these uh, with the alcohol markers, you get a really nice watercolor effect that I really like and uh, I think I might have one here yeah, to show so old cardstocks like fly old the cardstock flyers and stuff like that um, uh, this is a little bit thicker of a cardstock but this is a uh, index cards so I'll use that also regular cardstock I, I'm not sure which uh, so, so again with these I, I do uh, I'll do a double backing sometimes uh, and it's like if you're not gonna be feeling it I'll put it in a, a sleeve um, I, I get I, I get a good result with these so, so that's the paper
card stock. I mean, uh, index cards. <laughs> so that's the paper. I showed the uh, the the markers that I use uh, to do a sketch. Regular old number two pencil or whatever type of pencil I happen to have. I do have. Uh, Yeah, these are uh, artist sketch pencils. So. Uh, also pens. So pens and it varies. So this is a fine liner sharpie, which I've been using recently. It's like a, a gel pen. I think it's a gel pen. Yeah. Another micro fine liner, ultra ultra fine 0 0.5. This one's actually running out of ink, but I do have another one that I've been using. I need to get more of these. I need to get more micro liners. Uh, little ball ball point pen, and I know I have one in black, but uh, <laughs> fountain pen. Now some of these, uh, the ink does smudge uh, with this, like a lot of ink does come out, you gotta be careful. Uh, sometimes you get a nice effect, uh, a nice texture effect, or it just looks like uh, greedy. <laughs> so, especially with the alcohol markers, uh, it does kind of uh, mix in a bit. But like I said, sometimes you do get a nice effect, so it looks like shady and stuff like that. So like, it's a, it's a happy accident. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, pens, pencils, and paper. I got some cards here. So most of these are these uh, Bristol. There are some that are cardstock. So um, I do have a a template that I got online. A, an artist card template so I printed that on cardstock I'll check this out so this is a thing. Oh, I reinforced this one so this is two cards so yeah it makes it a little thicker and I use Mod Podge to go together so I need to get more so this is regular cardstock um, this is, I just cut it down to size uh, this one, the original card, uh, I did uh, send it out. Uh, I made a copy of this, so this is a uh, a scanned uh, photocopy. But I also touched it up, and you know you can see a little bit of the marker there. So, so this is a print. <laughs> here now this one um i use this is cardstock it's two cardstocks uh glued together so this is a uh, sketch card template with the, the blue line which is pretty cool and this is a uh, mark uh castle or, or Kiesel. <laughs> uh one of the actors that was in the live action ninja true uh, movie so he played leonardo so, and I think this is a mixture, of, also use pencil colors. So this is a mixture of pencil colors, a little bit of uh, markers to touch it up. And uh, let's see. So yeah, most of these is Bristol, which I'll show. Bristol or cardstock, so Bristol paper. I use the smooth surface. There is a, I think it's called a, a Vellum surface. I haven't used that one. I was gonna get a set uh, of these cards in that, but um, someone else that I was talking to that they uh, they've used those before and they don't like the Vellum, so. Um, <laughs> 
so this is the uh, that flyer cardstock uh, thick cardstock flyer uh, this is two pieces uh, glued together so let's see see how you get this really cool watercolor texture and I used a, a ballpoint pen I did use a, a pencil to sketch it, but a ballpoint pen to uh, go over it, and uh, uh, mostly the uh, Bionio markers. I, I think I did use um, some more hoo hoo markers, but but yeah, look at that texture. <laughs> and, uh, another masculine card. So all the these cards that I have here are for sale. Um, so, so yeah. Shredder, Casey Jones, Marqueso, Hulk. Now this is uh, some acrylic paint over it. Another Hulk. Skeletor. Stitch. A happy Hulk. And this is uh, David from the Bible, from David and Goliath. So I need to draw Goliath. Uh, this masculine card. <laughs> so I got so uh, these top three and these two are prints, but again I do go over them. I, I added a. a Add some extra color, you know, just uh, color it in a little bit more. Um, Originally, the original version of this one. Uh, I, so these I did um, uh, prints like this. Um, these were prizes. The original ones were prizes for a a Christmas art contest that uh, I held. I think in 2020 for the Truckle Creative Cast, and uh, so I think I gave like some some train cards that I had from uh, some other project. So those were like you know professionally printed and everything, but um, another prize was a sketch card. So I I did sketch cards. So someone recommended uh, not recommend they. Uh, they wanted Captain Goggles. So I did Captain Goggles. I did a masked woman. And uh, this is a character that was created by Anna as well as this one. So so I think all these went to Anna. Um, so I think those I just sent them uh, to her. But I did make prints. Um, uh, so I could have have them all because those were like one of my earlier cards. So I started making them a little bit more. Uh, this is Mr. No, uh, Great Canuck, uh, one of my characters. I think I sent that to to someone to one of the the winners. I think there were a couple more. But, uh, let's see. So this is. Uh, Part of it is on an index card, and it is glued on another, either cardstock or another, let me check, I don't want to guess, yes, so, yeah, so it's uh, glued on a cardstock, and it, or is it two index cards, yeah, I think, actually I think this is two index cards. Yeah, you can see the lines there. Uh, this is actually uh, my pastor as a, a superhero. And there is a story uh, behind why I drew it like this. Actually, I did another one. And this wasn't a print. Uh, I I did two. So this was the my practice one. And that's why it was on an index card. But uh, I liked how, it, how the ink came out. The, the pens that I use, they're like, I'm going to color this. 
Uh, but I redrew redrew the uh, original image. I think I might have used a, a light pad and I traced it. Uh, and that one I gave to uh, my my pastor for for Christmas. So you got that. So this is just an extra one. And, uh, so I don't, I don't think anyone wants to buy this one. But <laughs> uh, and here I just drew a castle. Those were turning out backgrounds. And a uh, mask woman. Uh, this one is 25 on Etsy, but I think that includes the shipping. Uh, these are a little lower in, in price. This is, this is some of my older ones. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, as I got better, I started getting better and doing more, of the price went up a bit. <laughs> you gotta value your, your time and your art. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the supplies I use, the paper. Crystal. It's the ones that I use. Again, I am liking this watercolor paper texture. So, uh, you put it on the paper, it gives it like a whole new, a whole new dynamic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I do. Um, wow, this video is a little longer, so I, I might not put it up on Instagram. Uh, let's, let's see if they let me, but it's going to go up on my YouTube. So, hope you like that video. Just showing you uh, the type of uh, materials I use to make sketch cards so get to sketching make comics no excuses make sketch cards no excuses um, in these little plastic things I think they just up it to a they take it to the next level look at it they look really nice <laughs> uh, that is all Frank Salazar out